Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Admas character of our world around us and today we will uh, discuss uh, two main blocks, uh, economy and military blocks we have currently or seemingly uh, we have currently in the world, I mean so-called Western world, so briefly United States and their uh, allies and so-called BRICS that uh, got extended recently for some Middle Eastern countries mainly. And uh, what can we say? Of course, in many countries that are in one block or in the other, many people comment and express their opinions like in Poland and countries in our region that BRICS uh, could be a blessing joining this organization, that uh, West is dying, collapsing and so on. Yeah, but they seem not to see analogical demographic problems or economic problems in uh, many of BRICS countries like China, another year of consecutive huge decrease in number of birds, demographic catastrophe uh, really coming very very quickly and uh, also Ra Russians uh, problem in this uh, matter also fertility in big cities in India especially is going down. So there are similar problems of course to maybe scale in some kind of BRICS countries is, is different but it's there. Of course there is there are there is no this LGBT and so on ideology in the majority of BRICS countries, with exception of South Africa in which recently uh, some of this uh, strange things were legalized. So uh, we see that if we go uh, to the issues that uh, directly are related to the living conditions and moral, moral conditions of human individuals, there are not so many differences between the Western and BRIC countries. And um, of course, some manipulators, commentators, I cannot call them in a different way, say, ah, you see, you remember what was happening during last years when there was this madhouse with small Chinese friend, uh, that individual freedom was smashed and people were forced to wear fa uh, these covers on their mouths and take some medicaments or things that were regarded as medicaments, many of them were forced to take it if the ones who refused were very often uh, lay out from jobs and so on. Yes, it's true, but the same things or even worse were happening in uh, many BRICS countries. Like in China, there was also huge instrumentation of uh, usage uh, of the restrictions allegedly against the small Chinese friend a few years ago. Uh, there was also huge pressure in some states of India, in some states of Brazil and in South Africa. So we see that the situation was not uh, any different. And still, if we compare in terms of uh, freedom of or possible freedom of in individual person, Still in Western countries, so-called Western countries, geographically speaking, we have much more personal freedoms than in the BRICS countries because uh, the uh, societies of the countries which are in BRICS, like China, also to a large extent Russia and India, they have mentality that is collective. Individuals actually do not matter. Everything can be translated to these people that we do this and this and that for the common good, for the good of the state, for the good of the nation and freedoms of and choices of individual being are being sacrificed on the altar of so-called common good or highest necessity. So if someone tells you that it's good to join Briggs because there is a personal freedom for individual people uh, larger than in uh, Western, so-called Western countries, these people are lying because there are simply even not such traditions. That's why uh, I'm telling you that in BRICS countries, if you, if we speak about personal freedom 
and choices individual human uh, being can make with respect to his or her uh, body, his or her life are not larger in BRICS countries than in Western countries. They are uh, much smaller because even in these countries, historically, there are no traditions of any respect for the choices of individual person. So these people who are saying that joining BRICS, uh, when, when one joins BRICS, one can preserve his or her individual freedoms. These people are simply lying and there are only two possibilities. Either they are stupid, not informed, or they are simply paid agents of influence from by the other side. That's it. Therefore, I would like to say that I don't understand why some people like in the Central or Eastern Europe or in many other countries think that uh, joining BRICS or close uh, or uh, collaborating closely with BRICS countries can be helpful in preserving uh, freedoms and uh, and personal uh, choices for individual people. I don't know where people take it from. And there are only these two reasons I mentioned just a few seconds ago why these people are saying that. So uh, don't don't we cannot be fooled uh, that uh, BRICS countries offer freedom to individual people. No, they are developing for many decades already, two three decades, close collaboration of Russian and Chinese scientists to develop new newer and newer techniques that can be used. Uh, to develop surveillance of the population at any time, at any level. And they really made huge progress with the face recognition and other algorithms. They really did uh, a huge work and now other states are trying to catch up. So we see what, what's the real intention of people who have power in these countries. Not to give people freedom, but to control them better. For, of course, all of these stupid slogans like common good, interest of the nation, interest of the state. Oh, it's really boring. So I hope I convince you that BRICS countries are not the uh, nascent oasis of human freedom. Definitely not. That's why we should stay in our countries and defend our freedom in our own uh, ground and do not allow governments to take it away from us. All the best. Have a nice day. Bye.